What's going on YouTube? Professor X8 here. Welcome you back to another TCG video with me. Today, we're going to be building a game around Like Rock GX, but this time we're going for energy denial, just straight up energy denial. We're going to be stopping them from putting energies on their Pokemon in any way. We're hoping to stop it from attaching from the hand, maybe with some Team School Grunts. I'm going to think about that. Um, we're going to be running Like Rock, obviously, with Crunch. Then we're also going to be running, I think I'm going to run a Garboda to stop any abilities that might be able to attach energies from the deck. Uh, we haven't got any of the evolution, so this this deck isn't about hitting hard and hitting fast, unfortunately. Um, it's more about just getting the energy out there, uh, off their Pokemon. Anyway, so let's let's start this up. Let's uh, drop the main guy himself in. Let's drop our Lycanroc GX in. And whilst we're thinking about it, let's... Uh, Add in some rock roughs as well. Uh, I added four there. I'm probably only going to run the three. Um, other than rock rough, what do we need? We uh, rock rough, sorry, like a rock. I'm going to add the carbings in again. I think they're good. They allow us to get our energy out of our discard. So if it ends up there, we can pull it back out. I'm going to try and make this a bit more budget friendly. So we're going to be running an orangaroo. Uh, there it is. Dropping two of them in. And as I said, Garboda. I'm not sure how much he goes for nowadays, but let's uh, add in a 2 2 line of Garboda. Oh, it didn't add. Uh, there we go. So we've got our 2 2 line of Garboda. I, um, I think that's all I'm going to use for now, energy wise. Let's drop in the usual strong energies. Four of them. And fighting energies. Seven of them. Uh, jump straight into the trainers. So we're going to go with my classic, which is four sycamores. I need to pick up four of the same sycamore at some point. So four sycamores, three ends. Where is he? There he is. Uh, Lysander, let's drop two of him in. Um, at this point, I may, I'm going to go with a Team Flare Grunt. And I'm going to go with a Solitary Skull Grunt. I think that's what I want to be doing. Um, may change my mind at a later point, but I think for now that's good. Uh, other than that, we're going for full energy denial, so let's get some crushing hammers in. Uh, let's get some enhanced hammers in. Um, what else do we need? Let's drop in some Ultra Balls. Four of them. And some... Let's see. None of our Pokemon have uh, onto the battlefield effect. So we're just going to grab some Nest Balls. Going to grab three of them. What else do we need? We need some Super Rods. Let's drop in a super rod. Go, go, just play the one for now. Uh, what else do we need? The S Seeker. So let's go back into this. Let's find some VS Seekers. Four of them. Um, I think that's right. And we're also going to drop in Scorched Earth. We need some kind of stadium removal. So we're just going to run two of them. And, uh, let's drop some... F I'm going to need some float stones in. If I could spell. Not follow stones. Float stones. I'd like three. Oh, that takes me above 60. So let's have a quick look. What could I drop out? I think... I'm going to try it with a solitary enhanced hammer. I want the three float stones because I want one on. I want them on Rangaroo and I want them on Garboda. The rest of them have single retreat costs. So I think that's good. I'm going to try this. Um, we'll see how it works. Hopefully it works all right. If not, well, we'll have to come back and we'll let it up. Anyway, I'm going to save up here. And with that, I will see you in game one. So guys, welcome to game one. We're going to be playing against a normal psychic type deck here. Um... I've got the coin flip call. Let's go for a heads. Hope we're lucky. We lo lose the coin flip. Of course, we always do. 
Uh, maybe I shouldn't be really crushing hammers with my luck with coin flips. Uh, regardless, let's have a look. We have the Trubbish and Garb Odor immediately in our hand. Um, okay, so let's drop Trubbish. Uh, they're going to choose a starting Pokemon. Obviously, the Trubbish means that we can't use our Orangaroos, but it does shut down any of their abilities. So it's kind of a kind of a mix. The idea is to get it out a bit later when uh, when we already have what we need on the field and in our hand, and so that we can just keep going for those uh, that, that energy denial. But uh, it depends what I'm playing against, really. Um, if it looks like it might be something like a Mega Mewtwo, then I will probably just get rid of... Uh, I'll probably just get Garboda down. Um, I needed to click on there. That's my bad. Um, let's see. Oh, Tauros GX. Okay. So we do hit for weakness damage, luckily. And we'll get the one-hit knockout with Accelerock. So it's Tauros Espeon. Mewtwo EX. Not really sure what else, but... Okay, okay. Just float stone there. I don't want to be destroying all of these cards too soon, so we're going to end. It helps him out a bit, but I didn't want to destroy all of those. There we go, that's a bit better. So we can drop two Nest Balls. First Nest Ball, we are going to go for a Carving. In case he does decide to go Mega Mewtwo. And even if he doesn't, we just don't want that Mewtwo hitting us. Second one, we're going to grab ourselves our Lycanra. And then we are going to attach an Energy. Um, who do I think is best to have out? Probably just going to leave Trubbish out for now. If he does decide to knock it out, then he decides to. It's got 70 HP, so he need to attach the Fighting Fury Belt to get the knockout. Goes for the professor's letter. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have team uh, team school grunt down there. Otherwise, that would have been very useful. Acro bike. Uh, I wonder what he's going to pull with that. Acro bike is quite useful. It allows you to dig a bit deeper. Maybe I should look at putting some trainers males into this deck. An Ordino EX. Um, this is a very strange mix of Pokemon, but. Maybe Pokemaster944 does know what she's doing. Is she? He? I don't actually know it with that avatar. I think it's a she. Their avatars aren't great sometimes. Uh, not people's, but the uh, the um, the Pokemon ones themselves. So you're going to go for the Team School Grunt here. That's fine. Get rid of one of our energies. I don't mind too much. I'm going to drop the Karmic Break and then VS Seeker up. Uh, an N. So I will get a full hand again. Gets the DCE. And I was sure he's going to go for a horn attack here. There it is. Let's see, what do we get? In fact, we get a Sycamore, so I am going to go for that instead. Hope that we can... I need an Energy and an Ultra Ball. In fact, I don't need an Ultra Ball because I've just got the Lycan Rock. So let's drop that on there. Drop another Fighting Energy on it. Retreat out to Lycan Rock. And do I need anything else? I could, I could shut down his abilities at this point, but I don't think he's going to be a particularly... I don't think he's going to be going on the way of uh, abilities. It's, none of his Pokemon do. Obviously, the Eevee did, but... What would I do here? Uh, so, I've got another energy that I can attack for the Accelerock, which is quite good. It means that I can get the knockout on that Tauros or the Tauros on the back. If he manages to get a DCE, he can go for the Mad Ball GX, which will knock us out. But that is if he gets the DCE. It'd be annoying if he does, but he goes for an energy attachment onto the Espeon instead. How much? Okay, so it's got 200. So what I may actually do is pull the Espeon out and knock it out with Lycan Fang GX. Let's see if this Crushing Hammer hits first. No, no surprises there. Let's drop an energy onto here. Grab. Let's see. Would I want a Lysander? Do I want to Lysander that Espeon out and get rid of those energies? Or do I just want to take two knockouts? I'm going to put the Team School Grunt down there. We're going to grab ourselves our Orangaroo. So let's drop him on the bench. 
uh, let's instruct get some more uh, get some more cards let's see what we get a VS seeker and another Orangaroo well I don't want too much on the bench don't want too much heaviness on the bench am I scared by that Psychic's not going to do that much damage to us, to be fair. So I'm actually here just going to go for the Accelerar. I don't want that Tauros around. So let's take it out. I don't think he can get the knockout next turn. We get an N and a Scorched Earth. So let's see what he goes for here. His Psychic will do 120. His Divide GX, he can put... Take out the... He can take out the Trubbish. But that's it. He goes for teammates here. So let's see, what does he pull out? I could always Lysander out the Tauros at some point, or I could Lysander out the Ordino, which may be the better choice. I may get the knockout with the Lycan, uh, Fang GX onto this Espeon, and then pull out. I can pull out either of them technically next turn. Not next turn, turn after, if my hand doesn't get shuffled away. None of the energy denials really come through yet, unfortunately. <laughs> um, not that the evolutions actually would have helped him. We get the victory anyway. He was he was stuck, he knew he was. Um, let's see. What do we what do we get? We get 50 coins. It's quite nice. Anyway. Um, I'm not going to change up the deck at all. I'm just going to jump straight into game two. So I'll see you there. Welcome to game two, people. This time, it looks like we might be playing a um, Decidueye deck. So we are going to be trying to get Trubbish down as quickly as possible. We finally get to go first for a change. So uh, let's see. What do we get? Ugh, nothing. Uh, he has nothing also. But I do believe it's a Decidueye deck. Uh, let's see. What do we get after this reshuffle? Uh, we get a carving, get a rock rough. Uh, I will probably. Is it dangerous leading with the rock rough? I don't think so. But I could be wrong. I could get completely smashed here. I guess I just have to wait and see. Let's drop down our carving as well. We have no additional Pokemon, so let's just select done. I think maybe I should have. Oh, I didn't mean to attach there. Uh, I'm going to retreat anyway for the carving cow. Do I need anything else on the bench? I'm going to get my first gar my first Trubbish down. And with that, let's end our turn. So we can pay a very expensive retreat cost here to get out, but let's see what he's got in his prize cards. So he's a Lorantis GX there. Maybe it's just a straight Lorantis deck. We may struggle here. <laughs> may struggle an awful, awful amount here. Uh, it goes for the Ultra Ball. Let's see what's he going to get off that. Probably another Lorantis or another Formantis. Yeah, another Formantis. Max Elixir. Uh, let's see whether it hits. It does. So he's got another energy attached there. And he's going to end. That's fine with us. We needed a new hand. Um, very happy to take that shuffle. Let's see. What do we get? We get a Float Stone, which is good. We get a Lycan Rock. It's decent. Scorched Earth. We've got VS Seeker. We've got two VS Seekers. So let's draw a Float Stone there. Drop that. Like a rock, blah, 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 like a rock there. I was gonna say like a fang there. Um, unfortunately, that's actually all we can do. Uh, I've got no. I meant to attach that energy to uh, like a rock. If I had done that, I could have been using crunch this turn and taken out this for Mantis, I believe. Oh, stupid misplays. Oh well, time of ball there. Let's see whether he actually hits anything. One and one. So he gets one thing. He goes for the Lorantis GX. That's fine. He's probably going to drop that onto 
his Fermenter. Oh, okay, he's going for the back one. He's going to charge that up, basically, by the looks of it. Goes for probably the Chlorocyte. I'd be very surprised if it's not the Chlorocyte. He, he's going to take our like a rock out. Yeah, if uh, if I'd been playing awfully, then maybe I'd have been all right there. But uh, as it is, I'm pretty sure I've lost this game <laughs> from a single misplay right at the start. It's difficult playing against um, difficult playing against Lorantis anyway because obviously we've got the weakness damage. Um, and it's quite a prevalent deck, so maybe I need to get some. Uh... I'm just going to concede here. There's nothing I can do. Uh, it's a very disappointing game too. Uh, we're going to just jump into deck edit. I'm going to see if I can get any weakness policies in. Um, it's not the best card in the world, but it may. In fact, you know what? No, I'm just going to. That was that was more of a misplay on my half. So we're not going to bother changing up the deck. We're actually just going to jump straight into game three. So let's see how we do. What's going on, people? Welcome to game three. Uh, we're playing a psychic deck this time. So once again, we're not um, not going against. Oh, we lose the coin flip again. I always, 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 always lose coin flips. I don't know why I'm going to be running these crushing hammers. We're never going to hit them. Um, we get nothing in that first hand, so let's shuffle away. Uh, so yeah, game three of our like a rock energy denial attempt. <laughs> Which isn't doing too much at the minute, unfortunately. I, I, I'm currently thinking that the other like a rock deck that I did was better. With... Um, with uh, the evolutions, that's it. With the evolutions, I think that was definitely a better deck. It was a lot more consistent. It allowed us to hit for weakness damage, which was definitely something we needed to be doing. Uh, I don't need another Trubbish, so let's just get rid of it. I don't need, I don't want to get rid of a Scorched Earth, actually. Um, Lysander, I'd actually rather put you down there for now. Uh, what do we need? Probably, probably want to get a rock rough down and start getting a uh, like a rock charged up. Let's drop the scorched earth. Get rid of an energy. Let's see what we can get. Another rock rough. Ah, oh, but that's it. Unfortunately, no way of getting in anything. No energy attachment. That could be. Very problematic for us. He's going to go for the Espeon here, I believe. So he gets the Energy Evolution. What is it Energy Evolution actually does? I actually can't look at it there. Um, drops the Float Stone on it. And he's probably going to go for Psychic Full Art Steven. Interesting. Uh, I don't know that I'd use Steven in a deck personally, but... Um, if that's what he wants to use. We unfortunately do have the two times weakness damage here. And I've discarded the other Trubbish. So we won't be blocking any abilities this time. But that's that's fine. He gets the hit onto our Trubbish. Which actually survives. Uh, okay. So let's draw a Nest Ball here. And pull out our Orangaroo. And let's see. Can we get anything off this single guard? I need a draw support. And I'm just not hitting anything. We get a Garboda. You know what? If he does decide to play anything with any abilities, it'll block it for this turn. Uh, we unfortunately only have Lysander down there, so I'm going to have to just click done. We are very, very stuck here. Uh, he's got an unknown there, which he'll probably just kill off for a uh, draw. It does kind of annoy me that that doesn't count as a knockout. <laughs> But I guess it wouldn't be wouldn't be too balanced. It's just the fact that the electrode one attaches as a double energy. I guess that's why it has to. So I don't know what he's going to go for here. He's going to go for the divide GX. Probably put. Okay, so he's just going to take out that other rock rough. Five, six, and then the other four on to Garboda. Nine. And 10. So down they both go. Um, let's just drop. I'm going to have to drop like a rock here. Oh, 
What do we get? We get Ultra Ball. Doesn't help us out that much, but let's just grab another Rock Ruff down. Drop it here. We actually, I suppose it does help us. We get the three, three card draw, so we get maximum value from that. Let's drop the energy there. Maybe I should have used it for extra draw, uh, but that is fortunately us done. I am very, very stuck here. Another unknown. How can he have that many cards in hand and not know what to do with them? Um, my guess here would be that he'll go for the Psybeam to try and confuse us. No, he's going to Lysander out. Uh, Aranguru? Be the, yeah, I was going to say, Aranguru would be the smart one. It's only going to do the 60 damage to us, but it will knock us out next turn unless I can retreat it somehow. Finally! Finally get an M. And... Nothing that could actually save that Orangaroo. So let's drop an energy there. Let's drop an energy. Hope we get a float stone. No, we get a crushing hammer though. Will it hit? No, what a surprise. <laughs> oh, um. <coughs> Carbink, you're not going to be any useful here. Lysander, there's no point having you. Let's just grab ourselves out another Orangaroo here. He has no other Pokemon on the bench, so there's no point in it. Uh, I'm really, really digging for that one float stone. Come on. Come on. No. Nest Ball. Might as well use it to thin out the deck. How many float stones do we actually have? Two float stones in our 26 cards, so it is a bit of a push. I will be um, Lysandering, not Lysandering, Sycamoring next turn to hopefully get through to it. Just drop that there. Uh, be done with the turn. He's going to get the knockout. That's fine. We've got our like a rock pretty much charged up here. I can just get the straight knockout on it. I don't know what supporters he has in hand though. Uh, he does just go for the knockout. Oh no, he doesn't. He knows that he can't knock it out, otherwise he risks putting our like a rock in. Let's discard that. Uh, let's see what we get. There's the floats though. So let's get the retreat. And let's drop a crushing hammer. Please hit. Ah, he knows. He, get, he gives us the victory anyway. I think at this point we had one. There's a bit of a weird death. The fact that he only ever had that one Pokemon out. Um, we do win there. But I'm not too sure about the death. I will, uh, I'll talk to you about it in the conclusion. So I'll see you in there. So people. You've made it all the way through. And here we are at the conclusion. How do I feel about this deck? Not as good as the other Lycan Rock GX deck. Nowhere near as good. The damage output isn't quite high enough. The energy denial is too reliant on coin flips from the crushing hammers, unfortunately. Um, and I don't get them out consistently enough. I bet I think I saw what two crushing hammers in the three games, and it just seems silly. I didn't see my enhanced hammer at all. The crunch was kind of useful. We lost to a Lorantis deck, but that's no surprise really. We were playing against our weakness. Um, against the weak, against the deck that you're weak to, it's very, very difficult to win. The other two decks that we played, um, they were interesting. They were very interesting. They both conceded before we actually got to get the full six prizes, which is a bit of a shame. I wanted to do the full showcase and show everybody that we were running. Anyway, how do I feel about this deck? Damage output, probably a C. It's it doesn't hit hard. That's not the point of the deck. It is the point isn't to hit hard. If you do get the like of rock. Uh, fully charged up you do hit for uh, 120 which is it's it's a decent amount however the fact that you only ever do enough to knock out a gx if you're hitting for weakness damage means that this build itself isn't that great you're all you mainly just going to want to be charging up enough to use crunch and maybe put the extra energy on to use the like fang gx to get that final little extra bit for the knockout after you've crunched maybe once or twice and they're within range um it's effect, the crunch's effect is quite nice. I do like it, but um, I think in comparison between this deck and the Evolutions deck, I'm gonna be running the Evolutions deck. Uh, I wanted to try this out. I thought it might be interesting for you guys to see. Uh, if you liked it, then feel free to go ahead, edit it however you want. Um, yeah, just go and have a mess around with it. It's interesting. But the Evolutions deck has one, one real 
advantage. If you're playing against Lorantis, if you can get a Flareon down onto the bench, your Lycan Rock will knock out a Lorantis in one hit. Uh, maybe you could look at trying to get some weakness policies in. Looking at my cards, maybe you could drop down. I'm not sure that Trubbish and Garboda actually carried their weight here. They're more. They were there to prevent stuff like Flare Witch, Del Fox, which isn't that common. It was kind of to try and like stall out their. Uh, try and stall out their energy recovery in any way possible. Try and stall out their board state. The other thing that I thought is maybe you could play Vile Plume in this deck. If you were to take out the 2 2 line of Trubbish and Garbo and take out one Arangri, you could get a 2 1 2 line of Oddish Gloom and Vile Plume in. Maybe run it as an item lock deck. So once you are happy in your setup, just item lock them down. And um, yeah, maybe you'd have to, you'd probably have to drop out some crushing hammers and the enhanced hammer and get in some more team flare grunts and team school grunts just to discard any energies that they have. Uh, maybe that'd be a better build. Um, yeah, anyway, this, I mean, the deck got two wins out of three, so you choose, you, you decide. Um, as it is, uh, overall, I'd give this deck probably a B minus rating. Like I said, damage output is a C, but the setup is probably A minus. It's easy to set up, however, you do sometimes hit that little bit of a board store where maybe you'd need a little bit of draw. Maybe if you dropped out the Orangaroos and put Shamans in, it'd be more consistent, but I I wanted to try and keep this maybe budget. The only expensive card in here really is the Lycan Rock GX. Other, all the other cards in here you can pick up for <coughs> probably less than 20 packs. The Lycan Rock and the Rock Ruff are the two expensive cards. Anyway. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy what I'm, I'm creating, all of the videos that I'm doing, all of the content, everything. If you do enjoy it, then please do think about su supporting this channel. Click that subscribe button, leave a like on the video, leave a comment, let me know what you did and didn't like. Let me know who you want to see me try and build a deck around next. Um, otherwise, I will just choose someone and we'll see how it goes. Um, as it is, uh, once again, thank you very much for watching. I'm Professor XA. Just remember people, Keep on trading.